Hello everyone. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of linear equations in one variable, we are going to take a few questions where we have to find the positive value of the variable. So let's start. The question is find the positive value of the variable for which the given equation is satisfied. So they are asking us to only find the positive value of the variable. Now over here, if you see these four parts, the variable is raised to power 2 that means x square y square x square again then y square that means these equations are not linear equations these are quadratic equations to solve these equations first of all we will convert these quadratic into linear equations so let us see how we are going to solve it the first question is 3 minus x square upon 8 plus x square equal to minus 3 by 4 now if you observe the variable is raised to power 2 that means it's a quadratic equation it is not a linear equation so first of all to solve it we have to convert into linear equation in one variable so we shall put x square is equal to y or any other variable we can take a k any variable we can take in the given equation and we shall convert the quadratic into linear equation so we shall get 3 minus y upon 8 plus y is equal to minus 3 by 4 so basically wherever x square was there in the equation we have replaced it by y now we shall solve it by cross multiplication so 4 into in bracket 3 minus y is equal to minus 3 in bracket 8 plus y now open the brackets 4 into 3 is 12 4 minus y is minus 4y minus 3 into 8 is minus 24 minus 3 into y is minus 3y now take the like terms on one side so minus 24 will become plus 24 and minus 4y will become plus 4y so we will get 12 plus 24 which is 36 and 4y minus 3y which is y so we can say y is equal to 36 now what was y y was actually x square right so we shall say x square is equal to 36 now we have to find x so x is root of 36 which is equal to either plus or minus 6 because we know that plus 6 square is also 36 and minus 6 square is also 36 so when we are when you are finding the square root of 36 you will get both the values plus and minus 6 but in the question they have asked us to find only the positive value of the variable so variable used is x and its positive value is 6 right so this is how we have solved this question first of all we shall convert the quadratic into linear equation then cross multiply to solve and get the variable which we have assumed it then substitute it back to its uh, quadratic form that is x square and then we will find the value of x which has come 6 okay now let us take up second question y square plus 6 upon 8 y square plus 3 is equal to 1 by 5 now again y is raised to power 2 so it's a quadratic equation in one variable which we need to convert into linear equation in one variable so we shall put y square as any variable let us say k in the given equation so we shall get a linear equation in one variable that is we have used k over here so k plus 6 upon 8k plus 3 is equal to 1 by 5 so we, wherever y square was there we have replaced it by k now we need to solve it by cross multiplication so 5 into k plus 6 is equal to 1 into 8k plus 3 now open the brackets 5 into k is 5k 5 into 6 is 30 1 into 8k is 8k 1 into 3 is 3 so we shall get 5k plus 30 is equal to 8k plus 3 now take the like terms together all the constants on one side and on the variables all the variables on other side now let us take 5k on the other side it will become minus 5k and plus 3 can be taken on the other side it will become minus 3 so we shall get 8k minus 5k is equal to 30 minus 3 which implies 3k is equal to 27 
So k is 27 divided by 3 that is 9. Now what was k? k was y square. So we can say y square is equal to 9. So square root of 9 is the value of y and square root of 9 we can either get plus or minus 3. Now because in the question they have asked us to find only the positive value of the variable so we can say that value of y is 3 that is plus 3. Now let us move to third question x square minus 9 upon 5 plus x square is equal to 5 by 9. Now again it's a quadratic equation because power of x is 2 so we need to convert into linear equation we shall put x square is equal to y in the given equation. So we shall get a linear equation in one variable y minus 9 upon 5 plus y is equal to 5 by 9. So wherever x square was there we have replaced it by y. Now we shall cross multiply so 9 in bracket y minus 9 is equal to 5 in bracket 5 plus y. Now open the brackets 9 into y is 9y 9 into minus 9 is minus 81 5 into 5 is 25 5 into y is 5y now take the like terms together 9y minus 5y 5y will become minus 5y and minus 81 will become plus 81 so 25 plus 81 which implies 4y is equal to 106. So y is equal to 106 divided by 4 that is 53 by 2. Now what is y? Now replace y with again x square. So we can say x square is equal to 53 by 2. So value of x is plus or minus square root of 53 by 2. But in the question we have asked to find the positive value of the variable. So we shall say that value of x is positive square root of 53 by 2 need not solve further you can just write the final answer as square root of 53 by 2 right now let us take a fourth part y square plus 4 divided by 3y square plus 7 equal to half now again it's a quadratic equation so we shall convert into linear equation by putting y square is equal to k in the given equation and we shall get a linear equation in one variable. So we shall get k plus 4 upon 3k plus 7 equal to half. Now we shall solve it by cross multiplication. So 2 into k plus 4 is equal to 1 into 3k plus 7. So we have just cross multiplied right now 2 into k is 2k 2 into 4 is 8 1 into 3k is 3k 1 into 7 is 7 now take the like terms together that is the constants on one side and the variables on other side so 2k i have taken on the other side it will become minus 2k and uh, i have taken plus 7 on the other side with 8 so it has become minus 7 so 3k minus 2k is equal to 8 minus 7 which implies k is equal to 1. Now again replace k with y square. So we shall get y square is equal to 1. So value of y is square root of 1. That can be positive and negative both. But we have to take the positive value. So we can say y is equal to 1. Right? So this is it. Hope you have understood all these questions. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.